Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at multiplying rational expressions. So we have expressed the product in simplest form and we have x squared plus 2x over x squared plus 2x minus 15 times 2x minus 6 over 2x plus 4. So for this problem we want to utilize three different types of factoring. We have greatest common factor, difference of perfect squares, and factoring trinomials. So we're going to use one of those three throughout this problem. So the first step is when we look at these two fractions, we want to target each section and factor both numerators and both denominators. So the first thing we could do is we target the numerator of the first fraction and we notice that x squared and 2x have a greatest common factor of x. So if we factor out an x, on the first term we're left with x and on the second term we're left with positive 2. And we could check that we did this correctly by redistributing. x times x is x squared. x times positive 2 is positive 2x. So we know that we did this right. But now for the second piece, when we're factoring a trinomial, we need to ask ourselves what two numbers multiply to the final term and add to the middle term. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add to positive 2. And if we think about this a little bit longer, we'll see that we have x plus 5 times x minus 3. And this could quickly be checked by 5 plus negative 3 is positive 2, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And now times, and once again we have a greatest common factor between 2x and negative 6. They both have a, have a common factor of 2. And if we divide the first term by 2, we have x. If we divide negative 6 by 2, we have negative 3. Once again, we're not going to go through the process, but if you redistribute the 2, you'll wind right back at 2x minus 6. And now something very similar for the second piece, the, the denominator of the second fraction, we could factor out a greatest common factor of 2, and we're left with x plus 2. So now at this stage of the problem, we want to eliminate or cross out common factors between the numerators and denominators. So we look at the first few terms and notice we have x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator. We could cross these out. It doesn't matter that the x plus 2's show up in different fractions as long as you're crossing out a factor between the numerator and denominator. It doesn't matter which fraction you're doing it from because it's all attached by multiplication. And now we look for other common factors. We notice 2 divided by 2 will cancel out and we have x minus 3 canceling out with x minus 3. So now our next step is to just rewrite everything that's left. In the numerator we have x, in the denominator we have x plus 5. Now since these are the only terms remaining that we didn't cross out, we could go ahead and circle this and label it as our answer. So we have this product is equal to x over x plus 5. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on multiplying rational expressions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.